Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to create sales funnel charts in Tableau. What is a funnel chart? In marketing and sales, a funnel chart is one way to visualize the buying process that customers often go through when they purchase products. It's often divided the revenue or sales process into several steps depending on the particular model. Here we have a typical sales funnel chart. On the left, we have a sales pipeline divided into five different phases, including interaction, marketing lead, sales lead, opportunity, and close one. What we have here is a set of KPIs for our two of our products, product A and product B, by sales funnel and the conversion rate from moving from one stage to another. So let's take a look at the data set together. In this Excel workbook, we have five different fields. The product field, the sales pipeline field, the KPI field, the conversion rate field. I have a new field called frame. So this field is basically going to control the size of the funnel displayed in Tableau. Once we have all these fields prepared, we can now go to Tableau and draw the funnel chart. Let's do that right now. Okay, let's now go to Tableau Workbook. We need to first load our data, which I've already done. Now let's go to an empty sheet. First thing first, we need to look at our dimensions and drag the funnel field and put it in rows. Now we have the sales pipeline stage displayed in rows. Because I have two different products, I want to first look at the sales funnel for one of these two products. To do this, I have to put product in filters and then select only product A. Click OK. Now, we need to drag the frame field which we have just created in Excel and put it in columns. Under marks, we may want to change automatic to bars. Now, what we're going to do is to right click and select create calculated field. I'm just going to call this field frame 2. What we're going to do here is to take the negative value of the frame field. Once we're done, we need to drag the frame 2 field and put it in columns and before the frame field. Now you can see we have the basic shape, shape of the sales panel created. You may want it to consider have different colors for different funnel stages. Then you simply tell Tableau to color the funnel based on this field. Pretty good, nice, right? Let's hide this part and make this chart a little bigger. Next, you may want to consider adding some labels. First, we want to add the labels of the KPIs, which we wanted to show on the left side of the funnel. Put the KPI under, fun under label. Now we have the KPI displayed on the left side of the funnel chart. We can do similar things for the conversion rate here and put it on the right side of the funnel under label. Now we have both KPI and conversion rate displayed. So what we need to do next is to remove some default borders and grids. To do this, we will want to right click and select format. Under borders, scroll down, choose none for column divider. And under grids, we may want it to do not show grid lines. All right. We may also want it to hide the axis since the frame value or the frame to value we have created in Tableau does not mean anything. Let's right click and unselect show header. Now we may want it to rename this sheet and put it as sales funnel chart. 
Let's format the labels a little bit. Right click and select format. Let's change the font and make it bigger. Okay, now we may want to tweak the size of the bars to make the funnel look more visually appealing. To do that, simply click size and move scroll to the right. Now we have a really good looking sales funnel. So last but not least, um, we have the simple funnel chart um, draw in Tableau. Sometimes if you have a situation like this, where you have multiple products, you may want to compare the sales funnel KPIs together and conversion rate against one another. In this case, we don't want to actually filter the products. Instead, we may want to put the products um, in the, into the columns right before the frame to and frame field. I wanted to add the filter and select both products. Okay. Now we have two sales funnels for product A and product B side by side. That's pretty nice, right? Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. And also let me know if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.